Hi, this is Aaron for BandLab, and in this video we're going to make a Mario Judas style beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description, and if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I begin by setting the project tempo to 158 BPM and setting the key of the project to F sharp minor. I add a virtual instrument track and set the instrument to drums, drum pads, ultra fat 808. To create a MIDI clip, I right click on the track and select create region, then I double click it to bring up the MIDI editor. Here I can double click the grid to add notes, and I start creating a beat by adding claps on the third beat of the first and second bars. Then I add kicks on the first and last eighth notes of the first bar, and on the second beat of the second bar. Next I want to add closed hi-hats, and I add these on eighth notes, leaving out hats where there are kicks or claps, apart from the first beat on the first bar. I also leave out the 8th after the first clap. I duplicate the pattern out for the next two bars, and to do this I select all the notes, then hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, and drag them over. I then add an extra kick on the 4th beat of the 4th bar. I'd also like to add some hi-hat rolls, and to do this I set the view grid size to 30 second notes. I have 30 second note rolls on the last eighth note of bar 2, the last eighth note of bar 3, and the sixth and eighth eighth note of bar 4. This gives me a rhythm to build on, but I want the kick drum to have more impact, so I create a new virtual instrument track, and this time set it to Creator Kits, Glitch. This has a cool impact sound on the first pad, so I duplicate the MIDI clip over from the drum track, and delete everything apart from the kick notes. As luck would have it, these are already on the note that plays the first pad, so they play the impact sound along with the kick already. This gives the kick more mid-range energy, which will help drive the track. I balance the tracks by turning the drum track down to negative 4.5 dB and the impact track down to negative 6 dB. I also want to give the kick a big low end 808 boom, so I add another virtual instrument track and this time select basses, 808s, cheeky boom. I duplicate the MIDI over from the glitch track, and this time I transpose it to F sharp 1, which is going to be the root note of the track. I extend the notes slightly by selecting them all and dragging their right hand edge. I set this track's volume to negative 3 dB. Now I want to add some musical elements, specifically strings. I add a new instrument track and set it to Strings, String Orchestra. I program a very simple part that plays F sharp, G, and F sharp again on two octaves. I want to thin this sound out a little and make more room for the weighty drum and bass elements, so I open the effects panel and add a tone multi-filter effect. I put this on high pass mode and set the frequency knob to around 200 hertz. I also add a reverb, studio reverb effect, and turn its size down to 2.5. This helps it sound more natural and atmospheric. I turn this track down to negative 11.5 dB.
I'd also like a plucked string to accent the start of each four bar section. So I create another instrument track and this time select strings, string orchestra, pits. I play this pizzicato pluck on F sharp four on the first beat of the first bar. I want this to sound organic and atmospheric too, so I add a studio reverb and like before I set its size to 2.5. I turn this track down to negative 1.5 dB. Next I'm going to create a slight variation on the string part, so I duplicate everything out and edit the string orchestra part on the new version. Here I simply add a sustain note on F sharp 4. This creates a dissonance with the G notes on the lower octaves when they play, giving this section a little extra edge. The arrangement is very straightforward, simply alternating between the original string orchestra part and the version with the sustained high note. Remember, you can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!